This series of paintings were completed by Annette Heller, an artist from East Hampton, New York. It is an abstract way of viewing the ten symbols of the Kabbalah. The Kabbalah starts with the desire to create. This inspiration starting from nothing and, cre and becoming itself a finished product at the end. But to properly create, one must navigate different types of knowledge. This represents ended knowledge, the knowledge out of the box, the right brain knowledge. Whereas you must also navigate the knowledge of facts, Chachma in Hebrew. It tells you that facts are important in backing up out-of-the-box thinking. The second area is judgment. This work represents chesed, a judgment that shows empathy for the person a mild judgment, but often judgments must be stronger. And the second type of judgment is gvura, a strong judgment, a black and white judgment. The next area is of outcome. What does the creator do with the outcome? This outcome, hod, in Hebrew, represents a, a completion in which there's self-satisfaction in the finished product. Whereas other outcomes are netzach, which is victory, where the artist sees themselves as being better and overcoming all of the competitors of all of the competitors. These two things have to be navigated. And the final two are aesthetics. There is the aesthetic of beauty, of symmetry, of color. But that is but one aesthetic. A second extreme is the aesthetic called Yisod, which is the aesthetic of foundation, that no matter how beautiful a thing is, it must have a strong foundation in order to be successful. The creator that passes through all these steps will reach the final stage of a completion of their work, Malchut. And the meaning of Malchut is that the world is perfected and by navigating these extremes peacefully, we have made the world better.